and it is 10.30. You know what that means. It's time for Celebrity Dish. It's the day we have Bisma Ahmed here with some exciting news for yes. us regarding a new show. Absolutely. So I have just announced that I'm a contestant on The Anonymous. You can watch it on Peacock, USA Network. But yes, this is the ultimate Yay deception kind of show, Ooh. right? So have you seen The Circle or The Traitors? I've seen The Circle. Yes, so it's it's kind of a, um, it's from the same makers, right? So you live with people, uh, 12 other contestants in person, but then you go into the anonymous chat from The Circle and anonymously chat with the other contestants and whoever is the most anonymous gets to vote somebody out. Mm -hmm. huh. So it's a little toxic, it's a little <laughs> manipulative, but it was so much fun. What made you want to do it now? You know, I never thought that I would do reality, but, um, you know, I am a lobbyist by trade. It's something that I didn't tell anybody on the show because I didn't want them to think, oh my God, is she really talking to me or is she lobbying yeah. me, right? Uh -huh. I want them to trust me. But, you know, I'm trained to talk to people. I'm trained to have people trust me and, and you know, like so, me so in a certain way. So what's at stake if you win, so to speak? $100,000. Well, $100,000. Right. I will well, trade a lot of people. Yes. Even you, Stephen, right. but I'll throw don't, you don't, under that yeah, big right. bus for <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. We're still friends, right? We'll share a little bit of it. My goodness. We look forward to that seeing you yeah. on the second episode now? Um, so I, actually, it's the fifth episode fifth now. Episode yes, yes. Wow. yes, last night we had the fifth episode, okay. actually. Yes, so um, we're like, not halfway through yet, but I'm still in the game, guys. I'm still okay. here. Still in the game. That means she may have tricks up her sleeve. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. we'll be right. watching, and also you'll be on Lion Lunch Hour yes. at 11, so we get even more of you, Bisma. Yes. First, we'll though, we want to get over to Celebrity Dish. You ready? Yes. Rappers Cardi B and Offset reunited amid their divorce to celebrate their son's third birthday. Producer Chris is here now to break down the latest. Chris. Yeah, they have always co-parented. We have talked about this, despite what is going on between the two of them and it looks like they are continuing that trend. The reunion comes just one month after Cardi filed for divorce from Offset and announced her pregnancy with her estranged husband. According to court documents, Cardi is seeking custody of her three-year-old son and six-year-old daughter that she shares with Offset. Cardi and Offset were first linked back in 2017. They married about a year later. The pair have been on and off over the years with Cardi initially filing for divorce in 2020 before the two eventually rekindled it. And this was for a birthday party, so a good excuse to come back together, especially when there are kids involved, guys. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the pinnacle of, of co-parenting, right. doing mm -hmm. what you have to do for the betterment of, of the children. Oh, 100%. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. And then when things don't work out, it really is hard to work with somebody, but it's because of the kids. And so I commend them. I really do commend them because, I mean, I don't have kids, but I can imagine that would be hard. But you do it for them. Yeah, it's hard to do it you in know? the limelight yeah. with so many people looking and waiting for something to happen. These two, I, I want the best for them because there are some kids involved, but I also want the best for them because they create good music. They do. Yeah. And I think when they are at their best, we all receive and can uh, benefit from yeah. that. Yeah, and hopefully they health. can work through it. I know Cardi has been very vocal on social yeah. media and these yeah. IG lives about yeah. what she's been going through, breaking down yeah. even a couple of times, with maybe some time away yeah. and focusing on family and and their oh relationship yeah. you know. could change things. You never know. But if it's best that they're not together, I want yeah. what's best for them, yeah. too. And honestly, Only they can time determine away that. really just gives the person perspective of like, okay, mm. this is my life without you. So you never know. I mean, at one point, it looked like they were ride or die, you know, going to be there forever. But, you know. Yeah, we're I always would, pulling for the best yeah, for, for sure. the entire family, right, Chris? I'm giggling because that leads us right into our next story, which is about that other ride or die couple, Benefer, oh, J Lo oh, and Ben oh Affleck. God. Because J Lo <laughs> making a few headlines over the weekend with what could be a comment about her recent split from Ben Affleck. A cryptic message, if you will. The entertainer took to social media to post an end of <laughs> August photo dump with the caption, Oh, it was a summer. Among the pictures included a t-shirt that read, quote, she's in bloom and unbothered, out of reach, and at peace. So that's the one you see right there. Could be a subtle nod to her recent breakup. Remember, Benefer reportedly separated back in April before officially parting ways in August. Another picture that caught my eye, maybe <laughs> Stevens as well, was that white bikini selfie sure. in the mirror showing off some of her assets, if you will, Ooh. especially those first three letters. 
Don't put me on the spot. Yes. Don't you, you do that. You saw it. Don't you do that. You saw uh, it. Yeah, I think it, I looked and you would smash like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really, Steven? I didn't because I didn't want to give anything away. Uh, but, but, but listen, it was an incredible picture. I will say this. You know, the, the, the couple, them two together, I just wish that they would just stop making these small little nods at each other and oh. just go their separate ways. Yeah. If this was a nod to them kind of giving a little bit of beef, I think Jennifer has every right to just say what she needs to say and just move yes. on. Yeah. I mean, move on. And it also goes to show women handle breakup the same way, I think, at the end of the day. No matter if you're a celebrity, if you are just like, you, you know, what, no matter what age you are, right? Like, you want to post that quote, you want to post that thirst trap and just say, you know what, I'm moving on. Not and I'm only happy that, Desmond, yep. she wanted to remind people I'm still J-Lo. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and she <laughs> is. Regardless of all She's that's going on. I like the picture, too, and I did like the post because, uh, yeah, I want my waist snatched yeah. like that. Yes. I want my uh -huh. ass right? like that as well. Right. So that, that was my motivation that's that cool. I took away from it all. Yep. I'll, I'll work on it during the okay. commercial break. <laughs> we got two more stories, two quick ones we want to fit in here. We're going to start off with Adele, okay, because she is not going to be saying hello anytime soon when it comes to fans. A 36-year-old superstar announced she is taking an indefinite hiatus from music after her Las Vegas residency ends. She told an audience over the weekend, I will not see you for an incredibly long time and I will hold you dear in my heart. Fans speculate she will use part of that time to get married to sports agent Rich Paul, Marissa. Well, you know, she had a tearful uh, announcement, but good for her. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. take your time. And, and I believe she said something to the effect that she spent all these years building this life. Now she wants to enjoy it. Oh, my God, yeah. You know, I mean, and we'll be here when she comes it. back. She deserves it. I mean, she's an icon. She's done so much. I mean, she looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Take some time to yourself, girl. Enjoy it. That's don't leave us. But you don't have to leave us. <laughs> <laughs> well, why, 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 why would you do that, Adele? Yeah. We, we, we've been asking for this tour for so long. You've got a residency. <laughs> They're giving you a comfortable place to stay. They're feeding yeah. you. Why do you want to leave? Oh. I'm joking. No, take your time. Chris Paul is a great man, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to see what you guys do together. Maybe there's a baby on Maybe. the way. Maybe. That's I part don't of the planning. Know. Just have to see, but the two are incredible, and maybe yeah, they need to just take some are. time to just enjoy each yeah. other and uh, be loving dove it. Do you, girl? Agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's speaking of babies, let's wrap things up with the internet's new favorite baby, <laughs> new favorite meme. We're talking about Halle Bailey and DDG's son Halo, because the eight-month-old is now the face <laughs> of the latest <laughs> meme. And it's all because of that side eye you see right there. Rapper DDG shared a clip of Halo's hilarious facial expression expression on a train ride now online users resharing the clip adding their own captions like this one me looking at my bank account after a spending free Haley and DDG both posted some of them on their own social media pages guys and I'm obsessed with this if target doesn't oh, use it as, a, as a marketing oh my god right? they got it. Know, after seeing your target bill that's the face I make every single time yeah there yeah. was one I saw my face when someone uses the restroom and don't wash their hands oh, no. You're big on this one. Yeah, you know, you got to keep things sanitary. Yeah. But there are so nice, nice. many yeah. out there. They're all hilarious. Oh, yeah. And I'm just waiting for people to add voices yeah. to it. Yeah, oh, my mm -hmm. God. Take it reminds it me level. of the Cardi B um, baby picture, yes, too. And she's it like, does. Or a Kavia, Gabrielle yes, Union's daughter, too, yes. used to be like a huge meme. Oh, so now it's a like Halo's memes. turn. I know. <laughs> I know, right? Bismuth, thank you for thank coming, you so as always. And we'll see you again at 11. Yes. Jacqueline. All right, guys.